Hundreds of children in Kenya's malaria-prone western region were inoculated with doses of the world's first approved malaria vaccine on Thursday. Despite her two-year-old child's screams, mother Phoebe Watende didn't hesitate. She said she'd seen firsthand the ravages of the mosquito-borne illness. In our family, we have had a lot of malaria-related problems. Some members have turned mad and others we've lost. Especially in our home, even after someone has been treated, they still fall ill from malaria after a few months. On Thursday, her daughter received her fourth and last dose at Yala Sub-County Hospital. The vaccine, called RTSS, or Muscirix, was developed by British drug maker GlaxoSmithKline and is the product of 30 years of research to fight one of the deadliest scourges on Earth. Malaria killed 386,000 Africans in 2019. This week, the World Health Organization said Muscirix should be widely given to African children. Since 2019, 2.3 million doses have been administered to infants in Ghana, Kenya and Malawi in a large-scale pilot program. The vaccine's effectiveness at preventing severe cases of malaria in children is only around 30 percent. But it is the only approved vaccine. Chris Opati, the clinical officer in Siaya County, Kenya, said the trial is already showing improvements. We've seen a reduction in the cases of the severe form of malaria, and this can be uh, checked through our reporting systems. The numbers have really gone down. But it's unclear when the vaccine will be accessible to the many African countries where malaria is endemic because the cost per dose is not known and it is not clear how quickly production can be scaled up.